In this video, I'll show you how you can report partially correct questions along with correct questions on your quiz results slide. One of my viewers pointed out something I had not considered before, and that is when you are setting up a quiz question that contains multiple correct answers, and you're awarding partial scoring for each of those correct answers, there's nothing on the quiz results slide that indicates those partially correct questions. In fact, it counts the entire question, even if you missed part of the right answer, as a correct answer. So how can we fix this? Well, I've come up with a way where you can report not only the total correct answers, the ones that are completely correct, and then also separately report those partially correct questions in its own data point on your quiz results slide. So the first thing that we need to do, I've got three quiz questions in this particular project here. And on quiz question number two, I've set up a two correct answer quiz question. And you can see that when you select the correct answers and go to your properties inspector under the options tab, I'm awarding five points for answer C and another five points for answer A. So we can be sure that we'll demonstrate that we can do partially correct scoring in this case. So the first thing we're going to need to do is go into our variables window. We need a couple of extra variables to keep track of these questions that are either 100% correct or partially correct. So I'm going to begin by clicking on the add new button and we're going to call the first variable, first user variable, underscore correct questions. And I'm going to give it an initial value of zero because later when I report it, I want to make sure that I'm showing an actual zero and not just a blank. So we're going to save that. We're going to add another user variable. This one is going to be called partially correct questions. And again, also giving that a value of zero. Hit save and we have the variables that we need to create, all the advanced actions that we're going to use. So now let's start writing the advanced action that's gonna run on the success of all of our question slides. So we can go into the project dropdown menu and select advanced action. Let's give this advanced action a name. We'll call it partially correct script. Now this happens to be a conditional advanced action and we're going to have multiple decision tabs. So I'm going to call this first one partially correct and we're going to check the value of a system variable, a couple of system variables actually. The first one is CP quiz info last slide point scored. And we're going to check to see if it is greater than zero. In other words, did we get some points on this quiz question? The next thing we want to check, and we want to do this as an and situation, we're going to choose CP quiz info last slide point scored, same variable, and see if it is less than, and this is another system variable, CP quiz info points per question slide. So in other words, what we're asking Captivate is, did we have a score on this quiz question greater than zero, but was it less than the total points awarded for this quiz question. In other words, was this partially correct? If it was, we're going to increment our user variable for partially correct questions by a value of one. So we're keeping track of the number of questions that were partially correct. Next, we're going to go to another tab, another decision tab, and we're going to type in the scenario for 
strictly correct questions and also a conditional action. So we're going to look again at CP quiz info last slide points scored and we'll check to see if it is equal to CP quiz info points per question slide. So did we score the maximum number of points for this question? In other words, was this question 100% correct? And if it was, we're going to increment our correct question variable by a value of one. There's a third tab that we're going to work on, and this is simply going to be go to next slide. And as you would expect, we're going to go to the next slide. That's it. We're going to save this as an action, click OK, and click Close. So now what we can do is we can select all of our quiz questions all at once, go to our quiz panel, and instead of go to next slide, which is what I set these quiz questions on success action to be by default, I'm going to change this to execute advanced actions and we're going to run our partially correct script. In the case of wrong answers, we're simply going to go to the next slide because there's nothing to report on those. Now let's go to our quiz results slide and let's change things up a little bit here. The first thing is, as we've already indicated, the results slide is only reporting on correct questions and previously partially correct questions were lumped into the same category. So I'm going to uncheck correct questions and I'm actually going to get rid of this item here as well. And what I need to do is create some of my own text captions to display the information that we've gathered throughout this quiz. So I'm going to create some text captions here. And that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first report on the total correct questions. So I'm going to click on the text within that text caption and click on the, the insert variable icon. And we're going to report on correct questions, the one that I created. 50 characters is fine here. And similarly, we're going to do the same thing, but with our partially correct questions. Now what we're going to do is uh, update these additional text captions to label those. So I'm going to call this complete correct questions and we'll label this one partially correct questions. That looks pretty good. So as you can see, I have my standard retake button. You can see that here in the properties in inspector. The problem is, is that because I'm keeping track of my own correct questions and my own partially correct questions, if we are going to give these learners an opportunity to retake the quiz, we need to reset those variables back to zero. And what we need to do is create our own custom retake quiz button. So I'm going to take the default retake quiz button, drag that into the scrap area, and I've already prepared uh, an item here that we can use for our custom retake quiz button. It's simply a smart shape and we're going to make sure that we're going to run a special advanced action in this case. So we'll execute advanced actions uh, it's coming up with partially correct, but we're going to change that in a few moments here. And we'll create a new action. And we're going to call this custom retake quiz. The first thing we need to do is assign our user variables back to the original value of zero. Because we're resetting the quiz, it makes sense that we need to reset these variables as well. So assign partially correct questions with the literal value of zero. 
The next thing we need to do is run a line of JavaScript. So we're going to execute JavaScript. We'll open up our script window and we're going to use a specialized JavaScript Captivate command called cp.resetquizdata with parentheses. Click OK and make sure that's in the current window. And last but not least, we need to jump to slide number two. So we're going to save this as an action, click OK, click Close, and make sure our custom Retake Quiz button is pointing at the correct Advanced Action script. I think we're pretty much good to go. Let's test this out, and we'll test it out a few different ways to make sure it works exactly as expected. So I'm going to click on HTML5 in browser. So for this first round, let's get nothing but distractors and make sure that we're not selecting any correct answers at all. So you can see here that we got 0 out of 30. We had 0 correct questions. We had 0 partially correct questions. There were a total of three questions, and this is our first attempt. So let's use our custom retake quiz button, and we'll start the quiz again. This time we'll get our single answer correct questions all correct, but we will only get one of the correct answers in our multi-answer. And then we'll just do a correct answer here. So you can see here, we scored 25 out of a total of 30 points. We got two complete correct questions. We got one partially correct question. There were three questions and our accuracy was 83.33%. This is our second attempt. Let's retake the quiz once more. And this time we'll get 100% correct. Perfect. So we got 30 out of 30. We got three complete correct questions. We didn't get any questions that were only partially correct. And of course, we got 100%. It took us three tries, but we got 100%. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.